Hello YouTubers, this is 777.Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended mod. Today I'll be doing a review on an in-flight Condor Boom 747-400 and a 1-200 scale model. I purchased this model from Choice Toys, whose store is based out of Overland Park, Kansas, here in the United States of America. And his website is www.choicetoysinc.com. But first, allow me to share some information about the history of Condor, if you would please. Condor Flugdienst, branded as Condor, is a German leisure-based airline that was founded on December 21, 1955 as Deutsche Flugdienst and commenced operations on March 29, 1956 with a pilgrimage flight to Israel. Lufthansa acquired a majority stake, a 95.5% stake to be exact, in the airline, thus creating its first post-war subsidiary in 1959. Then fast forward to 2000. The Condor shares that were previously held by Lufthansa were gradually acquired by Thomas Cook as the process of transforming Condor from a Lufthansa subsidiary to a Thomas Cook subsidiary along with Thomas Cook Airlines, Thomas Cook Airlines Belgium, and Thomas Cook Airlines Scandinavia actually began with the rebranding as Thomas Cook powered by Condor on March 1, 2003. As Condor officially became a part of the Thomas Cook AG and returned to the Condor brand name on January 23, 2004. Condor is currently the second largest commercial airline in Germany after Lufthansa based on fleet size and passengers flown as the global headquarters of Condor is located at Gateway Garden which is located in, Frank in the Frankfurt German suburb of Hesse while the airline's main hub and base of operations is located on the grounds of Frankfurt Airport which is located approximately seven and a half miles southwest of central Frankfurt, Germany. And the secondary operating bases of Condor are located at Cologne-Bonn Airport, located in Cologne, Germany, Dusseldorf Airport, located in Dusseldorf, Germany, Hamburg German Airport, sorry about that, Hamburg Airport, located in Hamburg, Germany, Leipzig Halle Airport, located in Skutich, Germany, Hanover Airport located in Langenhaden, Germany, Munich Airport located in Munich, Germany, and Stuttgart Airport located in Stuttgart, Germany. As of March 2018, or at the time of this video review posting, German leisure airline Condor currently flies to 90 destinations throughout Africa, Asia, Europe, North America, South America, and the Caribbean with the operating fleet of 44 aircraft with no unfulfilled orders pending at the time of this video review posting on this particular aircraft. Also as of March 2018 or at the time of this video review posting, Condor currently operates as a certified three-star airline carrier according to the international airline review firm Skytrax magazine. And the Boeing customer code for Condor on this particular aircraft is 30. Now let's take a look at this box here. This is what in-flight came with. This is what they uh, did the package with. I'm very disappointed. They could have put the aircraft details on this box, you know what I'm saying? But I digress. But this is what you see uh, in front of the box you see here. The warning information at the top of the right side of the box. The 1 200 scale uh, information on the lower left side of the box. And you see the aircraft type at the lower right side of the box, all right? And this is the back of the box, nothing much back there either, except the warning information you see there, alright? And this is the top of the box, nothing much you see there either, except the 1200 scale and the Boeing 747 information. And this is the bottom box, okay, there was two of them, the top one you see here, that's the Lufthansa one, the top one, I do have that model as well, I will do that model at a later date. But the one at the bottom, that's the Condor uh, uh, 747. You said C400, that means for Condor, and the L400 means for Lufthansa. I'll do that one at a later date. This is the one I'll be doing a review on, okay? Now you're looking at the nice little metal model stand that came with the model. And then you see the nice little plaque there. You see the Condor Air airline title. The airline logo, the Boeing 747 decal, the 1200 scale decal, okay? And then that's the top of the model stand right there. Alright, 
with all that information out of the way about the history of Condor uh, Flutians Airlines, how they got started, the little disappointing uh, details here on this box wasn't much to talk about there. The nice little metal model stand that came with the model, and since there's no gear replacements for this in-flight model, with nothing else, folks, here is the model. Check it out. There it is, folks. The in-flight Condor Boeing 747 that's 400 and a 1 200 scale model. Okay, here's the information about the livery. Ain't much information, but except this was the previous livery scheme for Condor that the German leisure based airline supported on their aircraft from 1987 to 2003. Okay, so with all that information out the way, let's get down to the nitty gritty and let me show you all the details on this aircraft model. Shall we? Let's check it out. All right, we're gonna start at the front of the aircraft on the uh, port slash left side, where you see the nose gears, the nose gear struts, the landing uh, nose gear landing lights right there. I'll show you. I'll give you a better visual view of that later on. See the nose gear door featuring the partial registration ship number on there. You see the Peter tubes and the static ports, the nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the pilot's cape hatch door. And then you see the airline's logo you see there right above the little the windows there. This is the current logo of the German lease based airline Condor, which resembles that of a Condor, which is the common name for two species of New World vultures, the Andean Condor and the California Condor, as the name Condor derives from the Quechua Contour, as the Condor is considered the largest flying land bird in the Western Hemisphere. Okay, and then you see the uh, Condor title right there, and then right by the L1 door, the Boeing 747-400 decal. Condor operated the only Boeing 747-400 jetliner in their fleet, which was leased out from Lufthansa, which bared the registration ship number. D dash ABTD from June 1st, 1993 to February 10th, 1996. As this aircraft is no longer operating in Condor's fleet, I guess it was fine giving back to Lufthansa. That's my guess. All right, all right. Under the uh, Boeing 747 400 decal, you see the aircraft named Hamburg, and this is the name of this aircraft. As Hamburg is also the second largest city in Germany. As this historic German town is also home to the second largest port in Europe, the oldest stock exchange in Germany, as well as the world's second oldest bank, the Berenberg Bank. Hamburg is situated on the river Elbe, bordering the countries of Germany and the Czech Republic, as Hamburg is also a major European science, research, and educational hub, as well as paving the way for a lot of rock bands, including the Beatles. Yeah, some y'all didn't know that Beatles actually got started in Germany instead of England. Now you know, okay? Now you're looking at the edge of the wing here where you see the inboard landing lights on there. They just painted on it. They're very detailed, but they just painted. They ain't got the jewels on there like Gemini Jets and JC Wings. But I guess in flight we'll get to that point at some time. Alright. Now you're looking at the engines here on the uh, Port side where you see the engine cones which are very detailed as well as the uh, engine column the little information on the engine column and these are the General Electric CF6-80C2B1F engines that were used on this particular Lathonza slash Condor Boeing 747-1 jetliner aircraft now I'm going to turn this aircraft model around let you see the front of the engines and the turbo fan blades do spin check it out now you're looking at the front of the engines no engine strikes, but the turbo fan blades do spin, to say the least. There. Then we're going to check the outer fan. Perfect. And then you come over here. You got a better visual view of the inboard landing lights here on the wing, as well as the landing bogey gears here. The landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear doors there on the port side. Now you're looking at the engines on the starboard side and they spin over here as well perfect perfect and then you come over here 
see the engine wing there you got a better visual view of the inboard landing lights here on the starboard side as well as the landing gears here the landing gear struts as well as landing gear doors there on the starboard side now looking at the front of the aircraft where you got a better visual view of the cockpit windows the windshield wipers the nose cone the nose gear doors as well as the nose gear landing lights right there the nose gear struts as well as the realistic nose gears you see on the aircraft model okay now i'm gonna take this back to the port side because there's more information shared you over there as well let's roll now we're still on the port side where you see a uh, good view of the uh, winglet here and next to that winglet is a red navigation light you see there next to the winglet Now you got a better visual view of the landing bogey gears here on the port side. You see the landing gear struts, the landing gear doors, as well as the center uh, landing bogey gears here on this side, the landing gear struts, the landing gear doors there over there as well. All right. All right. Now we're at the beginning at the back of the aircraft here, and you see next to the L1, 2, 3, L4 door right there, this door right here. This, this aircraft can also pass for a combi uh, aircraft version as well because of this uh, upper cargo container loading door right there. All right, you got an idea there. Now you're looking at the back of the aircraft here where you see the registration ship number. Registration ship number D-ABTD. Registration ship number D-ABTD. This was the only Boeing 747-400 jetliner to operate in Condor's fleet. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on April 10, 1990, and was first delivered to Lufthansa on April 27, 1990. Then was leased out to Condor on June 1, 1993, and was painted in the Condor livery shortly thereafter. Then was leased back to Lufthansa on February 10, 1996, and was painted back in Lufthansa's livery scheme shortly thereafter. However, this aircraft was eventually withdrawn from Lufthansa's fleet on August 10, 2012 and was briefly stored up at the Frankfurt Airport Storage Facility up until April 16, 2013 and was flying flown to the Mojave Air and Spaceport Storage Facility, which is located in Mojave, California, on the next day, April 17, 2013, where this aircraft is currently stored up at as of February 2018 or at the time this video review posted. And right next to the registration ship number, you see the German flag decal displayed there. And this flag decal represents the country where Condor currently operates from as one of the major flag carriers for the country of Germany. All right. All right. Now you're looking at the back of the uh, aircraft. You see the nice little uh, logo on the painted yellow painted tail fin here. You see there. As I mentioned, it uh, resembles that of two species of New World vultures: the Indian condor and the California condor. And like I said, as the name condor derives from the Quechua contour, as the condor is considered the largest flying land bird in the Western Hemisphere. That's what that logo resembles. That okay. And you also see the. Uh, Airlines partial registration ship number at the top of the tail, TD. Now you're looking at the back of the aircraft here on the uh, port side where you see the APU, which stands for Auxiliary Power Unit. And there is a hold there, and it's very realistic right here. See here? And underneath that APU exhaust hole is the strobe light, as you can see there, as well as the um, entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Check it out. There it is, everyone. All right. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft on the starboard side where you see the nose gears, the nose gear lights, the nose gear door featuring the partial registration ship number on there, TD. You see the static ports and the pedal tubes. You see the nose cone. You see the windshield wipers, the cockpit window, the airline's logo, the Condor title, the Boeing 747 that decal, the Hamburg name the name of the aircraft and the um, front cargo container loading door there as well and now look at the edge of the wing where you see the inboard landing lights as well as the general electric cf6-80 c2b1f engines on here on the starboard side very detailed engine cones there 
Okay, and now you're looking at the winglet here on the starboard side, as well as the green navigation line next to this winglet, wingtip device, all right? And now you got a better visual view of the landing bogey gears here on the starboard side, featuring the landing gear struts, the landing gear door, and then here's the uh, center bogey gear here on the starboard side there as well. Now you're looking at the rear of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the rear cargo container loading door, the AFT boat bin door, the retrograde ship number, the German flag decal, as well as the airline's logo, and the partial retrograde ship number painted on its yellow tail as well. Check it out. There you have it right there. Wow. Beautiful. All right, before I show you the area of bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, I'm gonna let you check out one feature, which is the rolling gear, which they roll pretty good. However, on in-flight models, they do not tilt that well. That's about as good as you're gonna get right there. But the nose cone does swivel there, which is I find impressive, okay? So, with that being said, allow me to show you the area of bird's eye view of this aircraft model. Let's check it out. Now you're looking at the area of bird's eye view of this aircraft. We're going to start at the front where you see the nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the power escape hatch door. You come here on the distinctive tip hump right here. You see the uh, anti-collision beacon light right there. A couple of high frequency antennas there. And then you come up here, the ADF antenna right there. And then you see the tail here and the horizontal stabilizer there as well as over here now you see the little dot there on the edge of the horizontal stabilizer the two little dots right there as well as over here you see there those are the illuminated lights that light up this tail here when it flew at nighttime now let's check out the wings folks no wing walkway but you got the flaps slats aileron spoilers what have you see the engines there then come up here see the fuel dump valve right there as well as the winglet let's check over here folks no wing walkway but you got flap slats they around spoilers you see the engine right there the fuel dump valve and those winglet wingtip device on this side here as well Now you're looking at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model where it's painted in partial white and gray. We're going to start at the front here. You see the nose cone, the closed nose gear door, as well as the open nose gear door featuring the nose gear. Another red high frequency antenna there. See the uh, anti collision beacon light right there. See the bogey gears here, the center bogey gears here. Like I said, they don't tilt. That's the only downfall about these in flight models. See the hole where the stand goes in at? A couple high frequency antennas there. See the pressure relief valves right there. And the APU housing doors right there. And the horizontal stabilizers underneath. Now let's check out the gears over here. Now they don't tilt, but they roll, it's enough. See the flap slats, they around spoilers underneath here. The engine, the fuel dump valve, and the wing tip device is painted in gray right here. Well, let's check over here the gears okay flap slats and around spoilers underneath here the engine fuel dump valve and the wingtip device over here on this side as well Now, since I've showed you the area of bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, now I'm going to put it on this nice little metal model stand that came with the model you see there. So with no further ado, everyone, here is the model on the stand. Check it out. Okay, fine, got this model on the stand here. Um, this is another reason I don't buy a lot of in-flight models, because the model stand is just not that sturdy and comfortable, to, in my opinion. But it's like it's holding up there, all right? Now you're looking at this model in takeoff landing position with the model on the stand. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft in the takeoff landing position with all the gears intact there. At the front of the aircraft with the aircraft model on the model stand. 
and now you're looking at the model in the takeoff landing position in the uh, on the starboard side right there. And finally, looking at it from the tail cam angle in a takeoff landing position with the model on the stand. Since there's no gear replacements, I can get straight to the chase and just go ahead and wrap up this model review, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and take this model off the stand, all right? Let's roll. Okay, let's talk about the seating configuration, okay? The Condor Boeing 747-400, which is actually a Lufthansa Boeing 747-400, seating configurated aircraft seated 390 passengers in a three-class configurated cabinet layout here's the breakdown folks from rows 81 to 84 which is the upper deck which will be from here to here you have 16 first-class seats in rows 1 to 20 which is the main deck which will be from here to here you have 64 business class seats in rows 24 to 56, which is also on the main deck, which will be from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. You have 310 economy class seats, which brings a total of 390 seats. And finally, Condor previously utilized this aircraft, the Boeing 747-400, mostly from its hub at Frankfurt Airport in Frankfurt, Germany, to leisure destinations in the Mediterranean, Asia, Africa, North America, South America, and the Caribbean. Okay? So, this will conclude this mile review. I'd like to know if you got this mile or you plan on getting it. If you can find it, probably your only outside chance of getting this mile is on eBay. There's probably other dealers, but this mile sold out pretty quickly. So, I highly recommend it other than the uh, disappointing packaging you see on the box. Everything else was on point here. The mile stand is still an issue. Uh, I guess they'll get to that at some point as well. But anyway, with that being said, please take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. Peace.